Hi everyone and welcome to vlog number three. I have a few more questions to answer today and the first one is from Ms. Baby Plan and she asked me how I like being a young housewife. And someone else actually asked me what I do for a living so that kind of answers that one. I don't exactly do anything at the moment but that could all change. In the near future I may get a job, at least a part-time job. We're still kind of deciding and we'll see how things pan out but I do like being a housewife. I, I actually do. I really enjoy it. I've always loved being home, so it's not too hard for me to spend much of the day at home. And I, uh, I stay pretty busy. I could used to be a little bit more disciplined and a little bit less selfish when it comes to cooking meals and being on top of all of that. But for the most part, I really do love, I love my role. And um, it may not always be this way, so I'm enjoying it for now. And I do have a college degree, so I, I'm not doing this because I can't find another job. I'm just doing it because that's what's working for us right now. So, all right, let's not linger on that one too long. <laughs> Michelle asked me, if I were deserted on an island, what three items would I have with me? Assuming that I have Gracie and Cooper and Matthew with me already. And I guess assuming that I was anticipating this island desertion. So, Michelle, I would bring Matthew's emergency bag. And if you all remember that post from a few months ago, you will know why. Because it would have everything we could possibly need. Um, rain parkas and emergency food rations and, you know, tampons and condoms and all of those necessities. So I would obviously definitely bring the emergency bag. And then I would bring my camera so that I could take pictures of all of the wildlife and any natives that might inhabit the island and, you know, the aquatic life like like whales and fish and stuff or I guess not fish because they're under the water but uh, yeah. So I would also bring my computer so I could blog all about this little island desertion adventure <laughs> assuming that there's Wi-Fi on the island I suppose. <laughs> that might be a little bit of a stretch, so, hmm, okay, let's move on from that one before I make a fool of myself. Sarah from Newlywed and Decorating asked me how I learned to decorate so well and what my inspirations are. And Sarah, I, I don't feel like I decorate all that well, to be honest. I, I know the process that I go through, and it's a lot of trial and error, and I return stuff, and I never, I never feel very confident in in what I'm doing, but in the end things do tend to look well, or I recognize when they when they look good, so I stop there. Uh, I, I, um, I'm inspired by Pottery Barn magazines for sure. I study them and I try to take note of what's working and why it's working, the colors and the textures and the sizes and shapes of things that are, that are put together. I take note of all that and uh, I try to learn as I'm watching my favorite TV shows on HGTV and all of that and then just implement those things that I've learned into my own home and that's really all there is to it. And that's my three questions for today so I hope you'll tune in next Friday for another vlog and some more fun questions or they're fun for me I don't know if they're fun for you <laughs> but okay have a great weekend.